This is Britain's south coast, a majestic line of chalk cliffs rising almost vertically from the sea. So serene, in fact, that people are often hypnotized by them, and this happens. But what might once have resulted in tragedy is today often averted by the speed, skill, and ingenuity of the fire brigade. In rough weather or high water, when the sea reaches the base of the cliffs, an injured person has to be recovered from the top, which can be a hazardous task. But now, Brighton firemen have devised a simple rescue drill using their normal equipment, which practically revolutionizes this type of work. Before the preliminary descent, a line is secured to the extension ladder of the cliff top. It's a 70 feet drop to the beach, but who's scared? With clockwork precision, the rescue team goes into action. Speed is vital, but the fireman's hook belt, to which the lifeline is threaded, enables him to control his downward slide. A second man joins his colleague on the beach while those at the cliff top prepare to lower the stretcher by pulley from the extension ladder. So that the ladder extends sufficiently over the cliff edge for the stretcher, the escape has been taken right to the edge of the cliff and secured by steel pins driven into the ground. If the ground here is at all unsafe, the whole crew might be plunged to the beach below. This new method of rescue was conceived and developed by Brighton's chief fire officer, Edmund Calvert, and his deputy, Harry Stanislaus. But its high standard of efficiency was only attained after constant practice. No, they're not too late. He's not dead. The helmet will protect the face from falling stones as he's hauled to safety. Working at top speed in their heavy equipment, especially in summer, isn't exactly light relief. But at least one fireman has an easy time. In fact, for fireman Milner, the willing victim, this is nothing but a joy ride. With bobbin lines to prevent undue swaying, the stretcher is hauled up by men at the cliff top. From start to finish, the rescue will have taken barely 10 minutes. While people are learning the hard way not to take that one step too near the edge or to get cut off by the tide, it's at least reassuring thought that close at hand is a rescue team of this grim efficiency. <laughs> 